My Kool-Aid pie recipe is easy and delicious. Kool-Aid is a southern classic and this is a great way to enjoy it. Although the original recipe only has four ingredients, I'm going to add a couple other things to elevate this no-bake pie from good to great. Over here I have one 8 inch graham cracker crust. Of course you could use store bought but I made my own. I'll try to remember to include the link to my recipe below. If you make a homemade graham cracker crust you do not have to bake it but I recommend baking it because I found that baked crusts hold up a lot better when you go to cut and serve the pie. The original recipe for the orange Kool-Aid pie had a very simple filling. Just one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, one eight ounce tub of Cool Whip or whip topping, and one small 0.15 ounce packet of orange Kool-Aid. You just mix everything together, pour it into the prepared graham cracker crust, chill in the refrigerator, and that's it. But I'm gonna add my Chef Parnell touch. I'm going to add a little over one teaspoon, but we'll call it one teaspoon of orange zest and two tablespoons of orange juice. I am actually using a Mineola tangerine. They're really delicious. I highly recommend them. If you have navel oranges, which is what I'm guessing most people are going to be using. For the juice, I would probably do one and a half tablespoons of orange juice and maybe half of a tablespoon of lemon juice and maybe just a pinch of sugar. I think that would be a good substitute for what I am using, but honestly, I think just normal uh, orange juice would be fine. I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and I, I'm actually probably going to add some food coloring as well. Not quite sure how much, but when I was researching this orange Kool-Aid pie recipe. I noticed that a lot of them, they were kind of a pale orange. I like my food to be brightly colored, so I'll probably add some food coloring. Like I said, this no-bake pie is super easy. To make the filling, all you have to do is mix together all of the ingredients except for the Cool Whip in no particular order. Once the Kool-Aid is mixed in, I will bring you back. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the food coloring now because once I add the Cool Whip, it's definitely going to look a bit paler. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, I guess. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops of red and six drops of yellow. When you are mixing ingredients that are of different densities, this is kind of thick, that's light and airy, you have to mix them in a special way. You have to fold. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna empty the Cool Whip into my container, or into my bowl here. And the way that you combine them is you fold. So instead of mixing normally, you take a spatula or a white spoon. I could probably use that as well. Dig down to the bottom and bring it up. From the bottom to the top. As you can see, the Cool Whip is totally combined with the sweetened condensed milk, the orange Kool-Aid powder, the orange zest, the orange juice, and the food coloring. I tasted it and it definitely tastes like an orange creamsicle. I'm also glad I added some food coloring because like I said, I think it would have been kind of pale otherwise. Now I'm just gonna pour this filling into my graham cracker crust. I'm gonna smooth it out and then I'm gonna put it into the refrigerator for at least four hours, if not overnight. I'm just gonna smooth it out I was really curious about this orange creamsicle Kool-Aid pie, so I couldn't wait to cut the first slice and give it a try. 
and when I took the first bite, I realized just how delicious this pie was. This orange creamsicle Kool-Aid pie had a surprisingly strong orange flavor because of not only the Kool-Aid, but also the orange zest and the orange juice. You might be afraid that it would be too sweet, but it wasn't too sweet at all because of the tartness of the Kool-Aid. And I also think that the slight tartness from the Mineola tangerine juice helped to balance out the sweetness as well. But since it's such a small part of this recipe, if you just use normal orange juice, I think it'll still be totally fine. I was also really surprised by how strong the cream flavor came through. Honestly, I thought that this was going to be more of an orange pie, so I was surprised just how strong the cream flavor was. Since the cream flavor was so strong, I would definitely call this an orange creamsicle pie and not just an orange pie, but for me, that was totally fine because, like I said, this was absolutely fantastic. I would definitely make this again. I probably wouldn't change anything. I thought it was delicious just as it was. If you make my orange creamsicle Kool-Aid pie recipe, I know you're probably going to use a store-bought graham cracker crust, which is totally fine. However, to give it a bit more flavor, I would suggest dusting the bottom of the graham cracker crust with a little bit of cinnamon, maybe about a quarter teaspoon, just to give it more flavor. But as always, I highly recommend making your own graham cracker crust if you can. I have a recipe here on my channel and the combination of real butter and ground cinnamon is delicious. I was also surprised by just how light tasting this was. It wasn't a heavy dessert, so it would be great for a hot summer day. My orange creamsicle Kool-Aid pie recipe was definitely a big success, so I hope that you give it a try. I'm releasing this video in May right before Memorial Day and at the very end of orange season here in the United States. So I think that this no-bake icebox pie would be perfect for Memorial Day. It would be the perfect dessert for a Memorial Day barbecue, a summer picnic, anything like that if you want a light, refreshing, cool dessert on a hot summer day. If you like this recipe, stay tuned because I'm going to be releasing more no-bake icebox pie recipes this summer. Like I said, I hope you give this a try because it was great. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.